Cecily Brown moved to New York from London in 1994 after graduating from the Slade School of Fine Art. Within five years in 1999, Brown was hitting her stride, making her earliest fully mature paintings at the age of just 29, and her career was launched. The Albright Knox, the Tate, the Whitney, the Rebell Collection, and the Broad Museum all made major acquisitions of paintings from this period, a stunning achievement and an impressive consensus for a young artist. Cecily Brown's painting style conjures some of the great painters of Western art history from whom she draws much inspiration, from Titian to Goya, Degas, Gorky, Picasso, and especially the abstract expressionist Willem de Kooning. De Kooning paintings are, of course, out of reach for nearly all collectors now. The highest public price of $70 million was achieved in 2018, and a staggering price, three to four times that, was paid privately for his masterpiece, Interchange, sold in 2015. Like de Kooning, Francis Bacon was an enormous early influence on Cecily Brown's thinking. Bacon is widely considered one of the greatest painters of the 20th century, and he is one of the highest selling post-war artists in the world, setting many world record prices over the last two decades, including the staggering price of $142.4 million for a triptych of his close friend, Lucian Freud, sold in 2013. Cecily Brown can claim much of the same territory and trajectory. While Brown has achieved this new level of high prices in the last three years, one can absolutely project with confidence that it is still early on in the ascent of her market. Surveying the landscape of Brown's market, the late 1990s and early 2000s, the period so well represented in museums, is clearly the most highly valued and sought after period. In fact, six of Brown's top 10 prices ever achieved are coming from this period. 2007 is a watershed year for Brown's market, with the $1.6 million sale of the pajama game from 1998. Brown consistently achieves seven figures from here out, and she moves permanently into the echelon of the most expensive female artists in the world. In 2017, Brown sets a record of $2.4 million, and then achieves three, four, five million dollars in rapid succession, culminating in the world record of six point eight million dollars set in May 2018 for suddenly last summer. Figures in a landscape one is simply everything you want from the artist. Her iconic imagery, this kind of churn of embracing couples pressing up against one another forming and dissolving into the gorgeous watery landscape. The palette is luscious, fleshy. It's romantic in subject and athletic in execution and incredibly ambitious, beautifully resolved, refined painting from the artist's most desirable period. The work was acquired by a private collector in the year it was painted, where it remained for 16 years and has had just two owners. This is a museum quality picture with its sister painting figures in a landscape too in the collection of the Broad Museum. For its masterful and powerful composition, its vintage year, its sheer beauty, its scale, provenance, and condition, it's certainly one of the most desirable Cecily Brown paintings to ever come to market, an iconic masterpiece that looks back in dialogue with art history and will hold up for generations to come. A masterpiece for the 21st century.